thoughts of the sacred behind that breeze. That's what's in the mantra. So this deep connection with nature gave rise to the Vedas. First uh, expressed, uh, we say the Vedas are timeless, we tend to put one first, which is the Rig Veda, which is um, the Veda of verse, where you see a lot of these deeply spiritual verses connecting with nature. Rig means verse. Metrical verse. That verse can make you full of joy to burst into song. <laughs> What's the Sanskrit for song? Sama. Sama Veda. We're very lucky to have a Sama Veda Gyani here with us, Ranjanji. Uh, well, you'll hear in a second just how rare that is these days. And um, it's a real privilege to hear Sama Veda. But through song, then, in Samaveda is expressed. Then people wanted to utilize the mantras in their ceremonies. And that's where the Yajurveda takes its role. Yajus literally means a, a formula. They're long, long mantras. You'll see some examples a bit later in our, in our talk. And, and the priests of the Yajurveda would conduct these, these ancient yajnas. And finally, we have the Atharvaveda which made sure nothing was left out. So in the, in the Atharvaveda, you have the sacred, you have the earthy. You even have mantras. If somebody is going after your beloved, you have a mantra to send them away. <laughs> that is there. There are even some darker mantras.